Good evening, good evening, good evening. Today is still Wednesday, October 9th, 2024. Back with another episode. Heading to the gym. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I might go live tonight, depending on how I feel when I leave this gym. What kind of energy I have. What kind of vibe I'm feeling. And I'm doing something I haven't done since the beginning of my channel, over a year ago. I'm making a video while I'm driving. I'm stuck in traffic, traffic moving real slow, but hey, I'm moving. So I wanted to come on here, man, and uh, I don't know if y'all heard this yet, but it's been on the news on a couple of them little, I'm gonna say liberal, left-leaning channels commentators, YouTubers, what have you. And you know how the mainstream and the left media would take stuff and twist it, right? I found it out the hard way. I had to learn the hard way. They had me going for a long time. I was stuck believing lies and foolishness because I was getting my information from MSNBC, to just to name one, and other Anything liberal, anything Democrat, anything, I, I would listen to it. I took them at their word, right? So, not knowing how misinformed I was, I was thinking it was them folks over there. Y'all, they, they, they ain't smart at all. How could somebody support Donald Trump? A racist. Everybody that liked Donald Trump, they racist. The white folk racist and the black folk that support them, they, they sellouts. Same thing they're saying about me is what I used to say, right? How could anybody in their right mind, especially a black person, support Donald Trump? And I would look for any little sound bite that the media playing to justify my thought process in other words, they'll tell me what I already wanted to hear. And that's what they do. They don't care if it's the truth or not. As long as they got your mind what they want, it don't matter that it's a lie that they're telling you. As long as you're doing what they ask you to do, which was vote and support Democrat. And the ideals and the policies. Which at the time, I didn't know the policy, the platform. I didn't care about all that. All I knew was, I'm black, I'm a Democrat, case closed. And I couldn't explain it if, if I had to. So, me talking about this media, I wanna talk to y'all about something that if you haven't seen it already, haven't heard it, I wanna tell you the truth what really happened. According to my sources. Because what you may have heard from somewhere else, is what they got from their sources. I'm hearing from people that were there talking about what happened. And for those who don't know or haven't heard yet, there was a Trump rally in Michigan. I think it was Michigan. I think Saginaw or whatever. A couple of days ago, right? Oh, and they hyping it up. Black Trump supporters get jumped by white Trump supporters. They beat him down. See that black folks? That's what you get. I was watching Willie D channel. He over there with his little I like Willie D as a rapper and with the ghetto boy, big fan, but I can't listen to his commentary. He put me to sleep. I just neither here nor there. But he reported that the black Trump supporter, he was one of them that took debate. He wanted them anybody but Trumpers. I mean, anybody but Trump. It could be Lucifer, as long as it ain't Trump. Know how they feel. Hey, I can't knock nobody for what they believe, because I believe what I believe. 
I support what I support. They got a right to support what they support. So I ain't finna do no derogatory names. None of that. I'm just finna tell you what I heard happen. Just like they telling you what they heard happen. But what they heard happen has been slanted. Because I was wondering, that don't sound right. I know plenty of black people that have been to Trump rather than what they described. It, it wasn't this. So I'm like, man, let me, let me check in. Let me make some calls. Check in some things. See what I can find out. Because none of those so-called news outlets and media personnel will show you. You know how they do. They take little clips, the sound bites, and show you that to form your opinion. They don't show you the whole thing. So, you know, what they fighting for? Okay, they got into a fight. They showed them fighting, but what are they fighting for? They didn't tell you what they were fighting for. They're going to just try to let you assume that there's some racist white Trump supporters don't like black folks, so they jump. They don't even want you to be a Trump supporter. They don't care if you're in for Trump. They're going to show you you ain't one of them, and they, they jump. They, that's how they spin in the narrative. There was some racist white Trump supporters jumped on a black Trump supporter just because he black and they racist. And even though they support, the black guy support Trump, you still ain't welcome here, boy. Get out of here, boy. That's the way they're making the scene. Black Trump supporter, that's the, that's the headline. Everywhere you look, the people that's covered it. See, it, it didn't make the big time circle. Because a lot of those major news outlets know what really happened and, and they, they don't want to just be outright lying like that. They know what happened. That's why you probably ain't seen it on none of the bigger channels. I haven't. I heard it from a couple of Trump haters trying to make, in, make us so-called black Trump supporters trying to show us how stupid we are. See, look. See, look, see how them racists, how they feel about you? How you support Trump and you got these racists jumping on a black Trump supporter? They don't care nothing about y'all. That's the narrative they're trying to spin. Black man, black man, black man. See how these white Trump supporters did a black man that's supporting Trump? They'll do you the same way. That's the narrative. Come on over here to Kamala. Them Trump supporters and Trump is a racist. And his supporters are racist. Look how they did the black man. Look how they did it. Here you got a black Trump supporter. So here's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Notice that you ain't seen that man giving no interviews, nothing like that. But man, they jumped on. I ain't do nothing. I was just standing up saying, yay, go Trump. And they just whooped me. You know, normally when something like that happened, the victim is giving interviews. Spell it when it's gone viral. Spell it when it's all over YouTube and what have you. You know, news, certain news sources, not all of them. Some of them want to tell the truth. So they ain't plastered it all over the place before they knew what happened. Oh, but the, main, the, the liberal media, they don't care about the truth. When a lot more entertaining, Charlemagne. The liberal media cares nothing about the truth when a lie is more entertaining. So they're going to spin that narrative and report it on the few channels you can find it on to make it look like a black man, an innocent black Trump supporter just in their mind his own business, voting for Trump, and here comes some racist white guys that just jump him just because he's black. See that black folks? That's what you get for supporting that racist Trump. The truth of the matter is, the black guy ain't said nothing about he was no Trump supporter. That black guy was a vendor. He in there selling merchandise. MAGA hats, t-shirts, he making money. He don't care nothing about Trump. I don't even know if he care about Kamala. He care about Ben Franklin. And the white guy that he got into it with was vendors too. They were arguing over money. And a fight broke out. Something to do with either the location of your booth, too close to mine, you selling fake merchandise, whatever. 
it was something to do with merchandise. The black guy and the white guy were vendors. Who said the black dude was a Trump supporter? We ain't seen him on the news. Yeah, I came, I was just trying to show my support for my candidate and some white racist just came and jumped me. We ain't heard him say nothing. You know why? Because it ain't what happened. Why haven't we seen the black guy, the victim? I'm filing a suit. I'm pressing charges. None of that. Where he at? All we got is Willie D, a few more other channels. See, look, y'all. You black, you stupid black Trump supporters. Y'all are idiots. See what happened when you support a racist? See what happened when you support Trump? You had a Trump rally and the racist white folk jump you for nothing. You just uh, mind your business. Hell, you support the same candidate they do and they still jump on you. You know how bad that look if that was true? If that was true, you know how bad that look on Trump and his supporters if that's what really happened. So they got to they desperate. Too many, too many black people, especially black men. Not all black people have left the Democrats, but too many. The majority of black people still gonna vote Democrat, but we don't need all the black people because we only make up 13% of the population. To swing the election, Trump don't need all black people to vote for him. But he got a large, way more black people from the vote Republican to vote for him than have since Reconstruction. I guarantee it. And the Democrats know that. They know, even though they ain't lost all the black vote, they ain't lost too many to win. So they're desperate trying to find any way, any angle they can Got Magic Johnson coming out trying to shame black folk. They got a little struggle YouTuber on here talking about we idiots, uh, black thought Africa, something, whatever. I come, I, I happen to see his channel pop on. He, the one that had the black guy in the car talking about how stupid we are as black Trump supporters and how Kamala Harris going to get him $20,000 to buy a house and 50000 to start a business. Where he was the guy that was talking about he's going to start his T-shirt business and him, that channel. For some reason, the black man is under attack from the Democrat Party. All because we chose to be free. Oh, they're coming at us hard. Why me? What about the white folk that's voting for Trump? Why y'all ain't on them? The white man that's voting for Trump, why y'all ain't on them? Why y'all coming so hard at the black man that decided, hey, I want to try something different. I don't like what I've been getting from the Republicans. I'm not Republican, from the Democrats. I don't like being lied to. And I especially don't like the candidate that you gave me, not the one I voted for. I don't like the condition that the country has been under, I've been, that been the condition of the country under your administration, the one that's running for president now. I don't like the condition the country is in. And I blame you for it. Miss Kamala. It ain't Joe Biden by himself. As a matter of fact, Joe Biden said out of his own mouth, you had a lot to do with his decisions. You was in there with him. As a matter of fact, if I go live, I'm going to show him saying that. Oh, Joe Biden just trying to sabotage Kamala. Okay, whatever, y'all. Whatever. Joe Biden said out of his own mouth. For you people that's talking about the president, not the president, the vice president ain't got no power and she ain't dead. Then Joe Biden said, yes, she did. Joe Biden said, I depended on her for help with these decisions, these policies. She had a big role in it. She just threw a rock and hide her hands. That's all she did. And now she's trying to distance herself from Joe Biden like she... And Joe Biden said, uh-uh, you ain't gonna throw me under the bus. Uh-uh. Nope. You ain't gonna act like you didn't have nothing to do with this. So Joe Biden said out of his own mouth, Kamala played a big role in his policies. So we ain't doing that. So therefore, because black men decided we don't we don't like the 
the direction of the Democrat Party, this modern day Democrat. I've been a Democrat all my life and I used to love it. The Democrats were at one time for the people, especially black folk. Not no more. Don't be mad at, well, you can be mad if you want to, I don't care, you ain't really do nothing. But, but I'm just saying, don't be mad at me because I woke up. Don't be mad at me because I don't like what y'all doing. I ain't gotta like what you like. You like tacos, I like hamburgers. So I'm an idiot? Well, I'll be an idiot then. Five guys, here I come. So now they send out all the big wigs, Magic Johnson and all of them. We got to get this black man to vote for Kamala. Oh, well, you, you, out, you out of luck, Magic. Ain't no, your Magic been gone. If that was you think you're going to do, ain't happening. I ain't guaranteed to vote for Trump, but I'm guaranteed not to vote for her. Y'all acting like black people that say a name for Kamala, like we automatic Republicans or we automatic Trump. There's a lot of black people like Tariq Nasheed and all his, his folk. They're not voting for nobody. They just talk about the Democrat Party because the Democrats were the ones that was claiming to be for black people. Don't come telling me what well, a Republican ain't did nothing for you either. Republicans wasn't the one pandering to us. The Republicans wasn't the one telling us what they're going to do for us. It was the Democrats. The Republicans ain't lie to us. The Democrats did. So that's why people like me, Tariq Nasheed, what have you, we're coming against the Democrat Party, not the Republicans, even though the Republicans ain't shit either. We ain't talking about the Republicans because they ain't never claimed to be our friend. So what I'm going to say to the Republicans, they never said they liked me. But the Democrats did. The Democrats said they got my back, and they did. So therefore, that's why I got this special hate in my heart for the Democrats. Even though I, I don't like Republicans, I don't trust them either, I hate the Democrats. Republicans ain't never lied to me and told me they were going to do nothing for me. What the Republicans doing for you? Y'all talk about the Democrats ain't doing nothing for you. What did, Demo what did the Republicans do? The Republicans ain't do a damn thing. But they didn't say they was. The Democrats said they was and did. See the difference? I had a, a woman I was dating a few years back, right? Back in my 20s. And uh, we were in a relationship. I told her I'd never cheat on her. Go figure. I, I seen it. I was young, looking good, and got plenty of money and somebody I ain't going to cheat. So I told her I wasn't going to cheat on her. She called me cheat. But before then, she was telling me about this guy. She was dating before me. They were just friends or what have you. You know, they used to, you know, cut buddies to mess around. But they were, you know, like, nothing serious. They were just getting booty, as we say when we were little boys, little kids. So when I got caught cheating on her, she wanted to leave me and then was done with me. I said, well, why? You want to leave me for cheating? And you told me about the other guy. I ain't, ain't going to tell you his name, but. You were with such and such. He was seeing other women, and you ain't stopped messing with him. Why you want to stop messing with me? She said, he didn't tell me he wasn't going to see other women. You did. Let me repeat that. I was in a relationship with a woman. I told her I'd never cheat on her. And in the early beginning, she was telling me, you know how you be talking about people used to talk to your exes, just nothing. She was telling me about a guy she used to date that she used to see. They were just friends, and by her being single and not want to be out here laying with no in and everybody, she had a cut buddy. Somebody she can go to just for, you know, to get her a little bit, get her rocks off. So that was cool with her. She ain't leave him knowing that he was seeing other folks. Right. But when I got caught cheating, I asked her, why you want to leave me for, you know, seeing other women? You ain't want to leave him. She said, because he never told me he was going to be faithful. He never told me he wasn't going to cheat. So therefore, him seeing other women is different from me seeing other women because I told her I wasn't going to do it. So therefore, I don't have the same hatred for the Republicans that ain't did nothing for me because they ain't say they was. The Democrats did. And they didn't. But I, I can't explain it to somebody who 
missing some up here. They, your mind already made up. It's comma. You for her. I don't care. I just came over here to explain that what happened. An innocent black Trump supporter did not just get jumped on by some racist Klan members at a Trump rally. From what I'm hearing, the man wasn't even a Trump supporter. He was just up there selling merchandise. I know a couple of guys that sell merchandise that can't even vote. Don't like Kamala or Trump. But he'll sell any shirt you want. You know, if you want a shirt with Hitler on it, he'll, he'll get it for you. And he don't like Hitler. He like money. So the, it was a black guy at a Trump rally with Trump hat on, Trump shirts on, but they, they left out the part that he's selling this stuff. They left out the part that he got into it with another vendor at a Trump rally that happened to be white. Because if you had a Trump rally, it's going to be, it's just what it is, all of us ain't woke up yet, but if you had a Trump rally, it's going to be more white folk, I'm telling you ahead of time, it's going to be more white folk than black folk. So if you have any type of issue with anybody at a Trump rally, most likely it's going to be against somebody white. It's just the, the numbers. And you can go anywhere to any type of event, a concert, a party, and get into it with somebody. Somebody you don't even know. About a, you looked at them wrong, you stepped on their shoes, you said the wrong thing, you, you looked at his girlfriend, he's just drunk, whatever. But normally, if you're black, you so well you get into it with somebody gonna usually be a black person cause if you're in a club with black folk, more likely you're gonna get into it with somebody black if you get into it with anybody at all. If you had an event as a black person, that's the majority of white folk, and you get into it with somebody, most likely gonna be a white person. Ain't got nothing to do with it, it's over race. It's numbers. You got into it with somebody at an event that's outnumbered, it's more white than black, so you got into it with a white person. About who knows what. You looking at his girl. Who knows? All I know is the black innocent Trump supporter ain't what happened. That narrative, y'all can kill that. The folks are just selling shirts and got into an argument. The black guy was selling shirts. The white guy was selling the vendors. I'd have been Mardi Gras and seen white vendors going at each other about. You too close to my my little. They don't play by that. Anybody that been to an event, or if you're a vendor yourself, when you be lead concert stuff, you selling your merchandise. They don't play, cause the money they had to pay to be in here, they need to make their money back. They can't be out here taking little losses. Especially if you hey you got your little area over there, stay your ass over there. Me being around black for that man, I'm just I'm just stereotyping now. Call me Uncle Tom, sell out. I got an idea what might have happened. The black dude over there in the white dude section. T shirts here. Hey man, stay over there on your side. Or you don't tell me where to go. And the next day, no. You play with my money. That was the other bite, y'all. So y'all hear that narrative being spun. My sources say they were vendors. And I've seen some reputable news sources say the same thing. They were vendors, I mean, they were selling merchandise. The black guy, the white guy, selling t-shirts, hats, and what have you. So therefore, the black guy had on a Trump hat, Trump shirt and all that, cause he sell, he got a table full of it. So he advertised his merchandise, that don't mean he a Trump supporter. That mean he a money supporter. Let me hear out of his mouth. Him say, I'm, I'm just a Trump supporter, I just showed up to show my support and some racist white folk just jumped on me and I was just minding my business. We ain't heard them say that. That's y'all Willie D and the rest of y'all because you hate Trump. You look for any kind of way to make him look bad to other black folks. So hopefully we'll come back and vote Democrat like a damn fool. Ain't happening. That's the truth. Get it, got it good, bye.